So I'm at XYZ Machine Tools and I'm going to talk to Mike Corbett about the new range of TMC machines. If you've seen this guy on camera before, you'll know how informative this interview is going to be. Um, Mike, just tell us briefly about the TMC range and it's not replacing anything, but what it's sort of bridging the gap from. No, you're right, Paul. It's not replacing anything. It's, it's opened up a new sector in the market for people that are trying to be efficient, trying to offer uh, something that we don't think is already on the market, something that can still be used manually, can be used as a tool changing machine. It, it just really is a unique product in the market. OK, so we're going to walk in this interview up, up through all of the models available. Um, I must tell you at this point, there's, an event, or there's a series of events happening at XYZ on the 15th, 16th and 17th of November. We'll put the details on the screen where you can see all of these machines in action. Mike, it's important to say at this stage that the Prototrack machine has been hugely popular for you since 1993. Absolutely, And yeah. what we've got here now is that, but it's enclosed, it's got a tool changer, but it's the same control. Yeah, it is. Uh, obviously Prototrack, as you say Paul, has been around since the early 90s. It's morphed into having more features on it, better benefits on it. Uh, you know, even things like adaptive mach machining now is available on the Prototrack. But people still love its friendliness, it's easy to use, it's conversational programming. Somebody can be trained in a day to be able to use a Prototrack. Okay, and now that's the same for this, because the control that's on that machine is now on here. And I'm reliably told that if you had a program from there, you could put it straight through oh, here and run it. Even from the very, very early days, Paul, right back to MX3, you can take that program and put it in here and it will run. So even the boys with the older machines, they can, can still, still run benefit. programs on okay, here. Okay, so this is the smallest machine. This yeah, is the, the 500, the teams. smallest one. And then we go up to the 750, um, and we'll move on because Mark's uh, writing a program or doing a program. Then we'll move on to the thousand general meter machine. But let's let's stop at the 1600, Mike, because well, this is the big this is here. this is I think what people <laughs> do like to see on camera. Um, they like to see the size that the range goes to. Now, this is um, a big machine. The 1600 denotes the x-axis, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All of the sizes denote the x-axis travels that you've got, 500, 750, 000, and like you say, the 1600. So if you took the Prototrack machine and then you spoke about the TMC, the TMC, what are the fundamental differences or the benefits to those differences? Now you've got the guarding and now you've got the tool changer. What does it mean? Well, it, it means it's bringing people who normally do traditional small batches and small quantities in giving them the ability to be more efficient. You know, there are lots of people out there with prototrack bed mills who are doing their work, quite satisfactory, good size control, all that sort of thing, but they have to be around for tool changing because it is a manual tool change facility. With the TMC, we're now adding the tool changers on. And, you know, we talked earlier about robotics, and, uh, but some people, their first step into moving into automation is to put a tool changer on the machine. But they're a little bit scared because some machines and controls are a little bit more complicated for that. But with a prototrack, a tool changer is bringing them forward in what they can do and what they can machine and become more efficient. OK, now let's talk about this. I find this <laughs> fascinating. This actually moves now to the centre of the machine. Now, what does this actually mean, Mike? Well, this really means, Paul, that we can still use this machine as a manual machine, which I think is quite unique on a VMC type product. So if the guy comes into the shop with a plate that needs two holes on it, 100 millimetres apart, you don't have to be writing a program on the control to do that. You can manually, in X, Y and Z, move the machine, drill the hole, move it 100 millimetres using your digital readout, and then drill the next hole, party's done and away. So you're not probably taking up an expensive VMC and having to set all your tools up and all that sort of thing. You can just still use it manually. You know, the millwright could still get on here and make them little parts he needs to repair a machine or whatever. Totally, totally flexible. And I like oh. the fact with the guardian, it means if there is any coolant flying oh, around. Your workshop is now going to be so clean, isn't it? Because it's all inside that environment. Mm. And you could add on your mist extraction and, and things like that that make your work environment so much more pleasant to work in. Okay, so we go from big two where oh, we're going to finish this uh, video <laughs> on the small machine now this is the two up we've done loads of videos on yeah, these. I was gonna say I go in machine shops and I just see these everywhere I know why they're portable they're easy to use they're small um, but now they have the RMX control too yeah there was some feedback from customers that told us they, they liked the footprint of the RMX two up but the control that was fitted had some limitations because it was made to fit in this space here um, you could program it offline and you could take programs from CAD CAM as you can with all the prototracks but there was a lot of people feeding us back that oh I just like those extra features that you have on the bed mill and now the TMC of course on this small footprint machine as the second op machine 
So although we call it the two op, I think a lot of people are actually using it as the first op as well as the I, second I've op. I've seen it, Mike. Yeah. I've seen it yeah. on numerous occasions. All of the five machines that we've spoken about here are going to be available to see in Huddersfield and also in uh, in Tiverton. And where's the other showroom? I'm just trying to think off the top of my... Uh, Huddersfield. Huddersfield. Tiverton. Tiverton, Nuneaton. Nuneaton as well. Yeah, Nuneaton. Uh, there's a series of events, the 15th, 16th and 17th of November. Uh, we'll put the details on the screen. You can see these machines, all of these machines in action at either of those facilities on either of those dates that we detail here. Thank you very much, Mike. As I said at the start of this, informative, absolutely <laughs> It's been a pleasure, Paul. Thank you.